see it true. On a night of wintry fog, the rune of death was stolen. And the demigods began to fall. Starting with Godwin the Golden. The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the Golden Age of the Erd Tree. Long before the shattering of the Elden Ring, someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh, the Black Blade, and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Luna Princess Rani, one of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala, demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then, all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the Golden Order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar. But I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. Uths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of ink in thee an invitation. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death, and used it to forge the god-slaying Black Knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? 
Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path, I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 